Hello everybody and welcome to Learning with Mrs Gray. This week we have been learning about nocturnal animals. They're animals that are awake when we are asleep and when we're awake they go to sleep. So they're animals that come out at night time. So I thought this book might be nice. These are some animals that come out at night, night time. Do you know what they are? They might live in a tree and they make this noise. They go, hoot, hoot. Yeah, they're owls. This story is called Owl Babies. And these are the babies, baby owls. Once there were three baby owls. Sarah, Percy and Bill. They lived with their owl mother in a hole in the tree. Their hole had twigs and leaves and owl feathers in it. So there are all the twigs and the leaves and the feathers. A lovely house. One night they woke up and their owl mother was gone. Where's mummy? asked Sarah. Oh my goodness, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. They've lost their mum. I wonder where she's gone. They're looking out of the little hole in the tree. Mum, where are you? The baby owls thought. All owls think a lot. I think she's gone hunting said Sarah. To get us some food, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. But the owl mother didn't come. The baby owls came out of their house and they sat on a tree and waited. There they are, the baby owls, all sitting on a branch. Where's mum? A big branch for Sarah. There is that a big, very big branch, big branch for Sarah. A medium sized branch for Percy. And a small bit of ivy for Bill. She'll be back, said Sarah. Back soon, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. Oh, he's a little bit sad because he, he's the littlest. He's only a little baby. He misses his mum. It was dark in the wood and they had to be brave for things all moved around them. <gasps> it's a bit scary. Look, it's all dark. There's lots of noises in the woods. <gasps> a bit scary for three little babies. Look, they're sat there, look. Three little babies, it's so scary in the woods. She'll bring us mice and things that are nice, said Sarah. I suppose so, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. Oh, I wonder if she'll come back soon. They sat and they thought, all owls think a lot. I think everyone should sit on my branch said Sarah. So they did. I'll sit in with Sarah. She's the biggest owl. All three of them together. Well, that's a good idea. They won't be by themselves then. Suppose she got lost, said Sarah. Or a fox got her, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. The baby owls closed their owl eyes and wished their owl mother would come. All shutting their eyes, making a wish. I wish my mum would come. <gasps> and she came. There she is. She's coming home. Soft and silent, she swooped through the trees to Sarah, Percy and Bill. 
There she is, look, she's flying all the way down to Sarah, Percy and Bill. There they are sitting at the bottom. Mummy! They cried and they flapped and they danced and they bounced up and down on their branch. Do you think they're happy now? No, they're all smiling and jumping up and down. Mum, you're back. There she is. Oh, they're all pleased. They think, thinking, yes, she's back. She's safe. Mum asked, what's all the fuss? Their owl mother asked. I knew you'd come back. The baby owls thought. All owls think a lot. I knew it, said Sarah. And I knew it, said Percy. I love my mummy, said Bill. There they are, I with their mum. The end. That was a lovely story. I wonder if you can think of any other animals that might come out at night time. Have a little think. Hmm. Can you think of anything? Okay, I will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.